Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, May 2nd, and today we will cover the trades for Yield Max Funds, Tesla Coney, Misty, and Viddy. Uh, but before that, a uh, few things. I made, uh, well, I spent the rest of my cash I had in my account yesterday. I made three trades. I bought the three Defines Funds on X dividend date, as I typically do, and I just had enough to buy 25 of each. Uh, it was early on in the day. The market was dipping, um, you know, and the, as well. And these were, on, you know, on X dividend days. So it was like a double dip. So I got a chance to get a really cheap price on all three of these. So hopefully, you know, we can see some recovery now on, on these funds and we can ma actually start making some money and then get paid distributions. But either way, um, you know, those were the trades yesterday. I also did an options trade. Um, I don't for those of you that followed me the other day, or was it yesterday? Um, so basically, I paid to close out some calls because I was, you know, at 60 to 80% profit. So I got 300 shares back, you know, to play around with. And then later on in the day, Tesla jumped in the green. So I took advantage of that opportunity and I sold a covered call on TSLL. Um, I got 32 cents per share and I sold the call at a $9 strike price that expires next week. So again, this was out of the money. Um, and TSLL, you know, I have two other contracts to play around with. I have 200 shares, so I can do two more contracts uh, and make more money. So the wheel strategy is holding on strong. Anyway, let's move on for what you guys are here for. Um, there were some trades yesterday. I think it was just Tesla. Yeah, just Tesla and coin. Yeah, just Tesla and coin. All right, so when I say Tesla and coin, obviously I mean Tesla and Coney. So first, Tesla, um, you know, this looks different than what you're used to seeing, but if it does, obviously it involves a synthetic for the most part, and you see an S on their type and then a BC right below it. This means they sold the call for the synthetic 175, 32,000 contracts, and then they BC, they buy to close the put. 32,000 contracts, the 175. So if the top part, if the sold call execution price is greater than the execution price of the BC put, then obviously we made money. And then right below that, they started a new synthetic position. Um, and look at the strike price, 180. So they didn't really move up much at all. So they took the profit um, on the 175 and they started a new position on the 180. But what I really, really like about the 180 is it's at least it's two, two plus months out, right? It expires July 19th, which actually happens to be my birthday, oddly enough. So good job, Tesla. Um, so we don't have to think about the synthetic for a while, which is, you know, this is what we wanna do. We wanna focus on the weekly calls. All right, so let's take a look real quick at Tesla, see what they did. So they closed what, the 175 we said. Um, so in green, how much did they make? So basically you'll see to the right, they made $20 million, right? 32,000 contracts, this is the biggest synthetic position they had, they made $20 million. Okay, but that's really good. Um, so that added to the April profits, which in total for April, this synthetic made 18.2 million. So again, really good. Now they move that those contracts over to the 180, right? And they started the position right here on the top, May 1st. Uh, the call part cost a little more than the put, so they had to pay 10.2 million to start the new synthetic position, okay? So hopefully that made sense. And then obviously um, you'll see uh, for April profits, obviously it's a $10.2 million loss, um, so you know, it's all right, though, because, you know, the 20 million from yesterday, that was a profit. You know, these, these strike prices are so close. So that's why it was kind of like it wasn't a massive profit as compared to what we're used to, but it was good enough. But the important part is the synthetic expiration. It goes out a while. So we are really good. All right. The other contract, 6,690, is in the 195 synthetic. That's underwater. But again, this expires May 17th. So hopefully Tesla can recover by then. But I don't know. I don't know. This was, uh, 
short distance synthetic, which may be in trouble, but luckily it's a small portion uh, considering. All right, so enough about the synthetics. Let's go to the April tab. There were no, tra uh, there were no actual covered call trades, um, but let's see how Tesla did. Overall, Tesla, I mentioned it went in the green, but then it went back down. So Tesla was at one, what the heck? It changed to 179.99. So it was 180, I swear. All right, so I guess it closed at 179.99, whatever. And that's 1.8% decrease. Tesla closed 1575, that was a 0.57% decrease. Okay, so where are we at for the week? Let's zoom out a little. Um, we have what, uh, how many trading days left? We have two trading days left, today's Thursday. So if we zoom, let me fix this picture. Sorry guys. Uh, we have how many contracts? Well, a whole bunch going on here. Um, we have that random 6,690 contracts that expire next week. That's 25% out of the money because that's the 225 strike, but that's for next week. So let's not talk about that right now. The one at the very top, that actually has a 180 strike, which is what they closed at. Now they're a penny under, uh, but either way, that's the largest position. That's about 30,000 contracts. That's 0.01% out of the money. Um, what else? They got 1,000 contracts at a 195 strike. That's 8.34% out of the money. And then they have 675 contracts with a 197.50 strike. That's 9.73% out of the money. So the worry is the top part, the 180 strike. So you kind of want Tesla to not move the rest of the week, but obviously that's very doubtful, um, you know, because that's their largest position. They could lose a, money, a lot of money on that call. Um, but we shall see. All right, so let's go to the right. Uh, outstanding shares did not move. Okay, so we'll just get to the summary. The 30-day IV is at 46%. Outstanding shares sits at 45125000 Total net income from the weekly calls, it's at a loss. So we will stop there. It's at a $4.4 .4 million loss. So obviously... There is no distribution payment related to that. Reaction at the moment. Uh, smiley face because they made some money on the synthetic and their calls are okay right now, but not for long probably. Um, yeah, and that's countdown for, for deck date. Deck date's tomorrow, declaration date. All right, let's look at the synthetic income now. Again, we got some money there. 35 million synthetic income. Short call income, we mentioned, is a loss. So net income is 30.6 million. So if you look at the total income per share, net is 68 cents. Okay, my estimate, where's that at? 58 cents. So they can actually afford to pay what my estimate is. They could pay more, in fact. And then, again, the other part, we could estimate, we could say, okay, the call, use the call credit. So again, if we use the call credit, that would be 75 cents per share. So again, it could be 75 cents, it could be 68 cents, or it could be what I said, 58 cents. We don't know. Obviously, they'll, they'll tell us Friday morning. Uh, outstanding holdings. We don't have to really talk about anything here. Uh, we, ha we still have two trading days. Again, the 180, you see it's in trouble. It costs 304 to close as of right now. But if Tesla goes up today, that's going to be in deep trouble. Uh, but again, we have two trading days. Net asset value, 709.9 .9 million. Uh, NAV is 1573. And then the trade price is 1575. So that is Tesla. Now pre-market should be open because it's after 4 a.m. Yesterday, I started the video a little before four, so I'm already running late today. Oh, look at that. Tesla is up in the, uh, as of 4.16 a.m., it's up 2.73%. That is not good for the 180 call, all right? Because the 180 call, we want it to be below that. We want it to be below 180. But again, who knows? Again, it's 4.30 a.m. Uh, real quick, I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, Crush came out yesterday, or Crash, whatever we want to call it. I guess it's Crash. <laughs> Um, it's a kind of like a reverse Tesla. 
Um, it does, you know, I guess it's, you know, the, uh, it's the opposite. Think of the opposite. I don't know. I haven't seen, like right now, if you go to their holdings, it shows PayPal. So obviously this, it kind of just copied PayPal. So I'm thinking the trades, maybe there'll be a trade today. Uh, I don't know. It says it launched May 1st though. So you, I would have thought, you know, when you pull up the holdings, it would show something, but either way, I guess this, you know, this is creates a synthetic short instead of a, a synthetic long. So that would be a sell put, um, not a sell put, a, a buy put, um, sell call for the synthetic. And then I think they would uh, sell puts for the weeklies. I don't know. Again, we'll, we'll see when it comes out. I'll, I'll cover it uh, if you guys want me to. All right. So let me close out of that. And then let me close. Out. Well, we don't care about TSLL at this moment. But let's go to the next trade. The next trade was uh, Kony. So what did they do? Three at the top. They added to the synthetic 590 contracts. And then look at the bottom, the last four. Very weird. They closed out 100 contracts from the 255. And then again, 100 contracts from the 255. And then they added 100 contracts at 255 and added 100 contracts at 255. The difference is they closed out the May 3rd and they opened on May 10th but two different ones. And weird, like where did a hundred come from? I just, I don't know, so weird, but whatever. You don't usually see weird in Coney. Usually, uh, you know, they're really, they're with it. All right, so Synthetic, they added 590 contracts and they got a pretty penny for it. They got 3 million, over 3 million bucks. All right, so that's adding to the April profits. However, this synthetic expires May 17th. Today is May 2nd. And guess what? After hours, we have earnings on coin. So who knows? If, if coin goes down, this synthetic is in absolute danger. If, if coin has really good earnings, then we may recoup some of this. As of right now, we got to pay $97 million. But you know coin. Coin can jump up really fast. Can it get to 260 by May 17th? Who knows? But we kind of wanted to get close. All right. So let's move on. All right. So here we go. April, how'd we do? How'd we do? Well, yeah, they screwed me up yesterday with the 100, you know, splits. I'll show you that in a second. Coin went up 3.02%. What a change from the morning, man. Coin was like tanking, tanking. And then it went up. Well, three, again, it went up 3.02% and Kony went up 2.97%. So that's a pretty good recovery. And then I had to split up this 255. What a pain in the you know what. What a pain. You know, guys, just, just so you know, these spreadsheets can be a real pain. I don't usually, I try not to complain about it. But yes, like things like that, only because I had a baseball game yesterday, I had to leave work early. It was just a lot of just chaos. So I was doing these spreadsheets literally right before I went to bed and then I woke up and I had to continue the spreadsheets and then I don't know luckily uh I don't have to go to the office tomorrow so I'm going today obviously going early for a quick workout all right so what do we got here Oof, what do we got a lot of crap so they closed out 100 contracts at 255 twice whatever they made a profit though because they only paid a dollar 97 dollar 99 right so they profited 26,000 each. All right, whatever. And then they started a new position. They just moved that same strike to next week. Why? I do not know, but whatever. You know, there's, there's just so many damn strikes here to cover. Um, but the moral of the story, just look at the blue to the right. Everything, you know, is 17. Well, we have 14% of the money. We have 14% of the money. That's only 285 contracts. Just look at the 17,990 though. That's 21% out of the money. So we're pretty, we're in good hands today. So if coin decides to go up massively, as far as the weekly calls are concerned, we are most likely not going to lose a dime. I mean, maybe the 14% out of the money is in danger, but even that, that's pretty, that's pretty far. Uh, if coin goes down, obviously we're, we're going to win all of these hundred, you know, almost hundred percent profit, but we'll see. I think we're more than prepared. Um, outstanding shares. Did it go up? Well, yeah, it did. It went up 525,000. Damn. So it's a jump of 2.99%. This is, 
but this is a crazy fun man. People love it. Thirty day IV, ninety two percent. Didn't hit hundred. I thought it hit hundred. Uh, outstanding share is eighteen million seventy five thousand. Total net income thirty one million. Distribution from that dollar seventy seven, uh, which earns eight cents a day and yields 036 percent daily. Or if you annualize that, that's one hundred and thirty one percent. So again, if you could do a better job, if you can yield more than one hundred eighty one percent, then do options yourself, right? Uh, DD countdown, uh, deck duration day countdown is tomorrow, one day away. The reaction face, um, you know, Coney's doing well, but again, they're scared because of the synthetic. Um, they don't want to look at earnings, right? It's after hours, everyone close your eyes and hope for the best. Um, yeah, maybe uh, on my commute home, which will probably be around 4 p.m., maybe I'll turn on the Discord. I'm not going to go live on face, uh, not Facebook, yeah, YouTube. Maybe I'll just turn on the Discord. We could talk about how coin earnings did, if anyone has it up. Um, let me go, let me know in the Discord if you guys are interested in that. Um, all right, synthetic income for April, 27.2 million. Short call income, 31.9 million. So net income, 59 million. Um, again, unbelievable. Total income per share, 327. Short call income per share, $1.77. All right, how does that compare to my estimate? I have a dollar ninety two. All right. So one other thing, again, we've been looking at how much in total, like just to call credits, uh, that's that's about dollar eighty six. Okay. So again, that's kind of in line with what I'm expecting. So and again, why aren't they paying three twenty seven? Well, I'll tell you why because that is going to go down most likely because of the synthetic position. Again, our all income for the month is fifty nine point one million. That's that's fantastic, right? But you have to brace yourself. Look at this synthetic. Like right now, if we closed it, it would cost us ninety seven million dollars. Obviously, we don't have ninety seven million dollars. You know, and again, coin could go up, so that number could go way way down. But again, gotta sometimes play it safe, and it's not like you know, dollar ninety two is bad, but who knows. Maybe they'll pay over the two just because it's over two. You know, I have no idea. Nobody knows. Jay knows. Yield Max knows. We don't know. We're just schmucks on YouTube guessing because it's fun. And it is fun. All right. Holdings. What do we got? We got, you know, hold synthetic. We don't care for now. We will care soon. Uh, and then a whole bunch of calls. But again, it's a... Uh, We'll see. We'll see how it goes, and we'll talk about it then. But net asset value four hundred twenty point nine million. The NAV is twenty three twenty nine, and the trade price is twenty three twenty six. Okay. After hours, or shall I say, pre market hours, the birds are out. All right. It's already four twenty four a.m. That sucks. All right, coin is up. Coin is up 1.78%. So maybe it'll go up through er until earnings. We'll see. All right, so coin is at 213.83. Good job, coin. All right, let's move on. No other trades, so we can maybe speed through the rest of this. Uh, next, we will do in. Yeah, we'll do Misty. We'll keep it in the crypto mode. Um, so Misty, again, they have 1150 synthetic. No movement on that. Um, you know, that's slightly in danger, but I'm sure it'll recover uh, by May 17th. So we don't have to harp on that right now. How did MSTR do yesterday price wise? Um, well, it was down 3.45% and MSTY was down 3.25%. So MSTY is at 2707 at this very moment, which some may consider a fantastic deal. Now, what about calls? They got a whole bunch of calls. They all expire tomorrow, so they have two trading days. But again, the the one that's, you know, we're not going to go through all the calls because, you know, people say my videos are too long. But the lowest strike is 1180. That's 14.76% out of the money. Okay. I wouldn't even, you know, of course, that one could be in danger. Everything else is above 30% out of the money, the, which includes the largest contract, 709 contracts. Right, which has thir it's thirty four percent of the money. So, as far as weekly calls are concerned, I don't think we have anything to worry about on Misty. 
Outstanding shares went up by 25,000, so that's pretty good. And here's the summary. 30-day IV, 107%. Outstanding shares, 3.6 million. Uh, income from the weekly calls, 9.2 million. Distribution from that alone is 258. Daily income, 12 cents. Uh, daily yield, 0.45%. And if you annualize that, we're making 165% just on the weekly calls. So again, really, really good stuff. Um, again, smiley face, kind of. They don't know. MSTR has been crazy. So that's why the, the weird face. But again, synthetic loss, damaging. $32 million loss this month, just to remind you guys. I know you like to be reminded of that. Short call income, $9.2 million. So we'll just look at that. Short call income per share would produce $2.58, okay? So if we look at that, and then we also look at just the call credit per share, two sixty. dollars okay? So we got two sixty, two fifty eight to two sixty. dollars What did I guess? I guess two ninety four. dollars okay? Um, now, so looking at this, it could be, it could be less, right? It could be 258, 260. It could be even less than that. Or it could, it could be what I guessed, you know, who knows? Remember, um, the, uh, that synthetic took, you know, quite some damage, but we did have some leftover from last month. You know, last month we carried over $6.1 million. However, the synthetic kind of took that all away, but they still may say and use that as, you know, towards their distribution. So again, these distribution estimates, I'm not going to lie, they are tough this month. So I have no idea. I could be way off on every single one and very possible. So I would not be surprised at, you know, one bit. Um, so the summary is, all right, we have our synthetic expires May 17th. And we got a whole bunch of calls that are probably safe that expire in two days. But we'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, what do we got? Net asset value, 97 million. The NAV is 26.96. And the trade price, 27.07. What a ripoff. Because look at the NAV. What happened? All right, let's go to pre-market action. Refresh that sucker. All right, we're at 4.28 a.m. Oh, there we go. MSTR is up 2.36%. All right, good job. All right, last but not least, NVIDIA. Some call NVIDIA the GOAT, some do not. But uh, no trades, so what's their synthetic looking like? Well, not that good. Their earnings are after their synthetic expiration, though. Uh, their earnings are on May, May 22nd. This synthetic is um, obviously expires May 17th, like the rest of these. But NVIDIA is at 830, and the strike of the synthetic is 915. Right now, it's a loss of 42 million if they had to close it. But again, it's still kind of early. How did NVIDIA do yesterday? Well, NVIDIA was down as well. Oh my God, it updated. What is, I don't get it. Google Sheets, man, you're killing me. I didn't even check the others. I don't know if they changed, it probably did. Luckily it's pennies. But either way, NVIDIA went down 3.89% yesterday. NVIDIA went down 3.35%, okay? What about contract wise? Well, they only got two strikes, so they're easy. Um, the majority of it though, 5,065 contracts, 920 strike. That's sitting at 10.79% out of the money. The other small position, 105 contracts, 865 strike, that's 4.17% out of the money. So that one could be in danger. The 920, not likely, but who knows. What about share count? Did anyone buy in yesterday? Nope, no one bought in. So 30 day IV, 62%, outstanding shares, 17 million. But as far as the income from the weekly calls, $2.4 million loss. Uh, NVIDIA fund manager, still not smiling, still not sad. They don't know what to think. But here's the summary. They have synthetic income, 6.5 million, but they have a short call income loss of 2.4. So that's a net income of 4 million. And the net total income per share again this one 24 cents that's blah you know we're not getting 24 cents we're getting more than that what did i guess dollar 35 am i out of my mind maybe definitely you know so i am am i overestimating nvidia i do not know again this month was really hard and i don't even 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about NVIDIA. That's probably the toughest one this month. All right, so the summary is um, a lot of stuff going on. We have the synthetic. We have the short calls, which are probably safe. But the net asset value of this fund is $418.3 million. The NAV is $24.61. And the trade price is $24.78. Okay, um, NVIDIA. What do we got? What do we got? There we go. Oh my God, can everything be green today? It's going to be a good day. It's leg day too, by the way. Um, NVIDIA is up 1.63%. Um, good job. And uh, it's at 843.99. And I had TSL up. Again, this is a... Uh, double leverage fund for my options i may have an options trade today i'm definitely gonna have an options trade because i have shares that i can sell calls on for an even higher strike price so that would produce me premium um, along with some capital gains so anyway that's the summary um current events what do we got feds pal keeps the door open for july rate cut really bro do you shut up already oh my god this guy go away how old are you too I mean, can you retire? How old are these people that work for the government? There's no rate cut. The inflation is higher than crap. You know, no one can afford anything. You know, can't even take a piss. But I don't know, man. It's just, I, I can't. I'm trying not to talk about, you know, this crap. But it's just like right in your face, right? Every every other week, it's affecting the stock market. Like, make up your mind. Rate cut, no rate cut, inflation high. Inflation's always high. Right. So what, what's the deal here? What do you what do you what's your job? What do you do all day? I would love to know what he does all day. You know, I don't know. Maybe it's harder than we think. Maybe we got to give him credit. Anyway, um, uh, that's a moral. That's that's the update. Um, I, I start yapping and that's why my videos are so long. So sorry, guys. I, I really I can't. I don't I don't know. It's hard to cut down, but I'm doing my best. Um, but either way. So as always, guys, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. So if you had fun, if you were entertained, please hit the like button. Um, obviously, I forgot to do it to say it in the middle of the video. So my likes on this will probably be low. But if you're if you made it this far, you're probably one of the few that always hit the like button. So thank you very much for that. Um, Obviously, I was not available for the live part unless I, I may catch it at the end because I'll be at the gym doing leg day. So um, that reminds me, the key word, I guess today's key word will be no chicken legs, all right? Do legs, bro. No chicken legs. Because if you work out, you got to do legs. You can't just do upper body, all right? You don't want to be one of those guys that's misshaped. You know, you have a huge upper body and got some chicken legs down below. So go to the gym. And go do some legs. It makes you feel good. I mean, granted, you can't walk the next day, but I'll probably have struggle. You know, I'm going to be lunging across the whole gym. So I'm going to be struggling to walk tomorrow, which I love. And then, and then the next day, which again, it's good times. Either way, keyword today, do legs, bro. No chicken legs. I don't know, something like that. You guys be creative as you, as you usually are. Um, so anyway, that's it. that's it for today, guys. I got to drive to work again, um, get a quick workout, go to work, then work out again at lunch, and then hopefully get home at a reasonable time. No baseball tonight, so I can relax a little bit, and then I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. All right? Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Later.